Hello and welcome to the Cardboard Bunker, my name is Pyvan and today we are playing some more Space Engineers. And I haven't touched anything pretty much since the last episode. I uh, haven't turned anything on, haven't started anything. I'm having second thoughts about this shape here. I think it's too... If we go back here, it may be too abrupt or too flat. I think we need to change that a little bit. No, I really don't like it. But it comes up in curves and I wanted it to curve and then have a second curve. So we're going to, yeah, we'll get rid of these ones too. They're smashing into them. And then I think I'm going to do the half block. how that looks with just one little bump I'm quite happy with that does mean we need to do some fiddling around under here but that should be the equivalent of a full block there and considering this is meant to be essentially destructible I'm pretty sure that will be okay this shape design for the moment and I'll, uh, I'll let you guys decide so please feel free in the comments to tell me what you think so that's step that's part one part one <laughs> that's part number one but now we need to increase the amount of uh, factories that we have here not factories uh, refineries we have here there is space technically to run them double and I think that might be a good idea. Um, so let's bring out a refinery nine. Two, that's eight, sixteen, thirty-two, correct? Thirty-two. So what I'll be building on in building in this episode, I'm gonna run the bar system in the background for the most part. And we'll let this build up as much as we can. I'm pretty sure that's how I want the first few layers of the bridge to be. The observation deck I should say. We'll add some more details as we go along through here. But the main thing I want to get into today is laying out where we're going to be putting in the hydrogen. So we need the gap area here. So the hydrogen will be down on this level here. Same level as the uh, as the living quarters. And we'll probably start mapping out the floor. And for a bit of a montage halfway through, I think we'll probably end up doing the heavy armor.
Okay, I'm back now. Back in the uh, ship. I've managed to do a little bit of work in between. I did record some of it, but um, probably put that in a montage later. I've actually got a list of things that I need to get through today. Uh, so I'll get into those. But the first one, we have a choice. So this is uh, just out of light armor so that if uh, the bar system builds it, it might be too hard and I can use it as a resource as well to get uh, plates to place heavy armor. Uh, but the whole point here is I've got the original slope here. It just comes straight up in a single line. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then I have this bubble version here. It's um, I'm making this side, you'll see it a bit better. So it's got a bit of a kink in it. I didn't want it to be too straight. Just as some hoon decides to drive down the back of the street. That's fantastic. Anyway, as I was saying, so it's got a bit of a kink. So I'm thinking I might even make this a little bit... Um, Sharper. I don't know if I like the um, the 60 degree angle I think that is or the 2x1 um, but I also like the fact that I've got this uh, bit of a change in angle here too so it gives it a little bit more shape and dynamicism something along those lines make up words here why not um, I'm also be putting in windows accordingly um, at regular intervals because I do want a lot of natural light to come through I've also started doing oh, the upper armor around these blast doors. I kept the blast doors up so that I could see exactly exactly how uh, wide they were. But all of this blast door area will be filled in with windows. I'll figure out exactly how to do that. So there'll be windows on the outside as well as windows on the inside just to give it a little bit more stability and strength. Um, so that will be fun to work out later. I've also built out the back here just to sort of start showing you where the edge will be. A lot of this will probably end up putting some um, almost like crumble zone false armor just to build the shape out so it doesn't look so blocky. Build up the refineries and I've added some more refineries to the top. I basically doubled it so we have 32 in here. I don't know if I'm going to keep this configuration or not because it is a little messy and they don't all flow into each other. See that that's not connected properly there. I've kind of done it as a temporary for the moment. We may even later on remove these completely as I'm planning to. So we've got a place to walk on. Oh. Fuck. As you can see walking around through here there is quite a lot of space but it is also quite noisy. Started the outer skin and then the inner skin or the cavity on the side. As you can see I'm not feeling these areas completely. I am just bracing them. Um, I'm putting three between and then a brace, three between and a brace, and I'll follow that all along. Alright, we're back in here. I've had so many false starts today. A little frustrating, so if you hear that in my voice, I apologise. I'm not cranky. Just uh, still learning how to use this new mic and remembering such petty things as pressing record, which is always handy. Anyway, so I discovered that I had made this off uh, by one. Uh, airtight hangers here. Should be along this side, not here, but here. I'll be placing all of those later and all the internal, uh, sorry, interior blocks along there soon. I discovered it basically because I was doing my ratios again. Uh, sorry, not ratios, the squares. This grid system allows you to sort of plan out your ship a lot better. So this is my center line here. And then all I do is go one, two, three, and then count up three. Don't place it on top. So it's a three by three. But technically it's a five by five. One, two, three. But the internals will be three by three. So inside here is where all the blast doors will go. Uh, but it also allows us to make sure we have everything even and such. So, so that observation deck there may be a little high. And I think that's going to throw off 
the ratio, the beam to width ratio. So I think we're still going to keep it to a, a little bit deeper than that, probably another three down deeper. But I will be bringing in this out and back around, allowing a centre part here for uh, the either the mini Janus or another sort of orbital ship to come in and land underneath the factory. So I've started along the lines here to make sure that the grid matches the whole way down the ship. But yeah, so that's how I'll mark that all the way across to the front. And then I'll bring it all the way back to here because I need to mark out exactly. Actually, let's paint this pink quickly. So we can get this on. I'm probably going to have to put another bar system inside because there's the one there and then the one deep inside the base only reach to this center point here. So there's two working this side, only one working most of that side. Pretty sure I'm going to have to put one right in the middle. And that covers a, an area 150 by 150, so that's pretty good too. This will be sloping down, probably to here. So I'll mark that as an estimate. So we want to go back at least six squares. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's six. Now I've got that measured, I don't really need to bring the grid in, but more than likely I will when it starts coming to the time of building. So now I want to figure out, do I want the um, engine block to be wider than the ship or thinner than the ship? And so we want to come out one, two, three, and then this is the width we want to go to. see what this will be like I think that will work from here I will be bringing these in a little bit hard to see that angle with the Sun there let's try from this direction Decisions, decisions, decisions. There's one, there's two, there's three. If we make that the end, we don't have to worry about the fourth one. And then we can bring it in sharper. That's one, two, three, and that's a fourth one. And that's our end where we start building the armor up. Happy with that. Energy critical. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And we start bringing that back in from this direction. Oh. Count down. Let's count down from the top. One, two, three. That's the fourth one. One, two, three. And that's the fourth one. One, two, three. That's the fourth one. Here is our fourth one. This is one. Two down. Three down. It should give us, let's count the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, squares wide, but two squares high for the observation deck. That's three, that's four, five, six, that's seven. Okay, while we're in the ship and waiting, let's have a think about it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by six. 7 by 6, 7 by 6, okay, so it's going to be wider than it is shorter, 
and it's got that nice seven to six or three to four kind of ratio um, we could probably go an eight by six but I really don't can't figure out how I can do that properly um, with the grid system that I use so seven by six will have to do it's still pretty good um, it's always going to look a little funny because this top layer here if you look at the tops of my beams where my eyes are following that deck area there will be uh, armored have a bit of uh, so it's going to have another layer of armor above that um, as well uh, more than likely I will put um, make this a sheet of heavy armor put the blast doors on top the blast door blocks on top and then put another sheet of armor on top but uh, slide it slope it away uh, from the observation deck I really want to make sure that the upper skin is as, as strong as possible but I still have to pipe in where all the turrets are going to be as well um, I was thinking of actually elongating the rear here so this section will now just house um, hydrogen tanks and oxygen oxygen tanks not oxygen tanks sorry hydrogen tanks and oxygen generators and the storage for ice I will have set storage for ice and then behind that we will then build out the engine that'll be the main rear engine internally I probably will sneak some internal engines in just so we do have some generic braking thrust without having to have all the engines exposed we have enough of a space in there so I'm just going to do some welding and let our bars run for a bit all right I'm back I've uh, left this running for a little while and here we are and I've marked out where the center would be where we need to sort of fit in the hydrogen thrusters I've raised this a little so that we've only got the three gap there uh, this would mean that from now on we can start marking out where we want the actual hydrogen tanks to be So we'll bring these out another row and again we're going to keep the gap in between conveyor junction that way and we'll start bringing it back in towards the uh, rest of the ship I'll place the rest of those later I'll probably go down another row too just to make sure we have enough storage probably thinking this is a bit overdone but considering we're going to put some reactors in the back here as well and there's a big chunk of that that's actually <clears throat> actually held in the armor I think that uh, what's that 21 so far I'll probably add another 14 so that would be 35 35 times 2 is 70 so we will have 70 hydrogen tanks there each each row will have at least I'm thinking at least for oxygen generators I'll probably put some down the back here too and I'll pipe up in between as well just to make sure everything is piped up um, back and forth and as a redundancy at all at all times we generally need to make that happen um, I'm thinking we may need to actually take this out so I did some work on figuring out the dimension I'm thinking 
it's still a little too thin. So I'm probably going to end up taking this down the slope here if I can get out my water pointer. Yes, I have 10 seconds to go. So we'll probably end up sloping this out at a 2x1 rather than a 1x1. One one. So it will come out a lot further, then slope down, around, and then back in again at the same angle. Um, over here, I'll probably end up making the base a bit wider, which would be good for landing other ships in there as well. But with we're certainly making some progress. Uh, certainly building it up. I think a lot of this is actually going to take longer because it requires heavy armor and there is only so much cobalt being processed. So we'll fly back up to the spotter ship here, the turtle welder grinder ship. So I'm all nice and cozy and safe while I bring it in low. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, I'd like to use this time to say thank you for watching. Uh, thank you very much for your patience as I slowly get all of this sorted out. Uh, thank you for the comments that everyone's been offering me. Um, I really appreciate the support. I've even got someone helping me out with some critique on my video. I know the audio was really, really low last time. And um, I'm hoping that I can start rectifying, improving the, the audio. Um, and I uh, will be back streaming from um, Monday. So hopefully... Um, Monday my time so hopefully this video I'll go up before then and that will be a Monday Wednesday and Friday night stream Monday and Wednesdays will be my um, will be seven days to die and Friday will be whatever the hell I feel like but I'd like to say thank you very much for watching thanks all for uh, participating uh, there's a link for the discord below I've got my Twitter handle down below and please please watch me on uh, twitch.tv forward slash pieburn um, it really helps me out. If I could do this full time, I would love to do nothing but build spaceships and kill zombies and all sorts of colony stuff. So please feel free to support me and help me out. And coming soon will be a Patreon. So thanks again. Bye bye. Have fun.